Hey y'all, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I know it's been a minute, but I am back with some more Diddy T, honey. So let's start out with letting me guys offer you some refreshments, okay? <laughs> anyway, child, so rumor has it allegedly that um this is the sort of setup that um the 17-year-old, um, uh, the then 17-year-old girl that was uh you know is trafficked from detroit to um daddy's house studios in new york to see diddy from un- none other than his then um ceo of bad boy records half pierre and said assailant right so this is the the um the alcohol setup that the girl was talking about right so y'all remember she said she felt dizzy and she couldn't you know she couldn't control us she was, she was out of control of her faculties um and she couldn't remember much the next day after they took her home right so anyway honey rumor has it that on twitter they said there was a question on twitter with this picture child if this picture they said um trivia what does this mean um at daddy's house and they're talking about the studio right and so um gene deal said that uh you know allegedly this was the sort of setup that they had uh when the girls were allegedly um you know uh, you know drugged or, or whatever right so that they could be um s aid right and so um kind of find out that jeans deal said he would they wasn't spiking the alcohol or uh, they were actually spiking the um cranberry juice right or the orange juice so the girls would be looking out um to see the drinks you know they wouldn't let you know, some of the girls wouldn't let anybody pour them a drink because, you know, they, they you know, they assume quite naturally it might be something in it, right? Because everybody know how this go, right? Well, come to find out they weren't spiking the alcohol. They were spiking the, you know, the orange juice or the cranberry juice. And so that is the way that the girls was being tricked, right? So anyway, child, that's why I showed it. I found it very interesting. I was like, what's striking the I mean, spiking the the orange juice and the cranberry juice. But anyway, just one just just one of the things. If you guys can remember when we talked about the seventeen year old um complainant that has uh, the the then seventeen year old eleventh grader complainant um that has filed a lawsuit um against Diddy right for S A and for allegedly S A N and also trafficking her right. So anyway. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So anyway, child, moving right along. So some news came out um, of a video the other day, right? Now, this video um, is from, I think they said it was from last year, and it was from Dialogue. Of course, y'all know I love Dialogue. If y'all haven't checked out the Dialogue channel, y'all go over there and check out that video because, honey, he got all the tea on all the rappers, right? So he's been talking about Diddy for a long time. So this, uh, allegedly, this picture right here, this Dialogue, this video, um was from like a year ago when he posted on his channel and it says diddy says his mother um is single and that he takes her to the strip club child so child i listened to the video right and i mean it is very in my mind and not only my mind but some people are all above a buzz about the video because the video is kind of um untoward when he comes to talking about somebody's mama, in my mind, the first thing they started talking about was this picture child where he's kissing her on the lips um, in the video. And then he goes on in the video and he's talking about how he take his mama to the strip club. And he said his mama is single and ready, right? And then she said, honey, she can um, she can put her, I didn't even know what this meant, right? Said that she, she said, yeah, I'm ready. And I be putting my hands flat on the floor, right? Meaning she is very flexible right and so also in the video they were talking about the fact that diddy mentioned that him and his mom was getting you know those rehydrated um uh, iv drips right like when you when you party too hard and you have to get the little iv to be rehydrated right and that is the same thing that, those are the same drips that cassie was mentioning in her lawsuit right when they would have them fo's you know for the whole weekend and they would end up having to get the the, the ivs to rehide it to rehydrate themselves because they've been too drunk and too high so honey his mama was getting one of them right because i guess they had party hard at the strip club child who knows and then not only that 
uh, at one point in time in the video, she pans down. And y'all know, y'all know what Cassie said about them white fingernails and them BBCs, right? So, honey, she he panned down. And the mama was like, why are you, why are you doing the camera like that? This is on the video, right? And he was like, oh, I was just trying to show your shoes. And I'm like, why would you show your mama's shoes? But, honey, he panned down. Um, and I think that he was showing the fingernails, right? Now, when it comes to this little part right here in the psychology of Diddy, it says a lot, right? And the reason why it says a lot to me, because there is a also, there is also a rumor going around that allegedly um his mom Janice is not his bio mom. They say allegedly they're saying that Diddy's bio mom um passed away years ago. And this lady right here named Janice is actually um the lady that took care of him after his mom passed, right? Now they, they seem real comfortable with one another. And they also said allegedly um that his mom was a sex worker, right? So I'm thinking was Janice a sex a sex worker? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's just, just another, you know, uh, uh, rumor has it, right? Allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly. But it was it would explain some things, right? Now, this is what this picture right here was even more creepy uh, to me than the one of him, you know, uh, kissing the uh, the mom or the caretaker, kissing Janice, right, on the, the video. This, why is he looking at the camera right like this when he's kissing Janice on the cheek? I'm like, what, what you mean by that? You know what I mean? That couple with the white fingernails. And I'm thinking, has Janice always worn white fingernails? And if his mama was a sex worker, like, and what if Janice was allegedly a sex worker as well, just like the mom? And what if Diddy seen a lot, you know, in his childhood? You know, because, like, I've heard of people, what was that movie? Um, It used to be a show on... um on HBO called Boardwalk, right? And so in one season of the Boardwalk, um, one of the, the mob bosses was going with a girl, a woman that worked in the cat house, you know, like a brothel, right? And she would have her daughter in the brothel with her, right? And so what if that was the kind of situation with Diddy, right? And that's very traumatizing to a child, you know what I mean? So if Janice is not really his mom, you know, but the caretaker, and even if Janice is his mom, you know, like I said, rumor has it, people have speculated that this lady right here, Janice, and his bio mom is the woman that took care of him after allegedly um his mom passed away, and she was an S worker, right? So what if they were all in this, you know, in this type of scenario, and it caused him to be hypersexual, you know what I mean? And who knows what could have allegedly happened to him? You know, now I'm not saying that this is just my theory, when it comes to this situation with him and his alleged mom, uh, his alleged caretaker, and what and how he may could have, how he could have grown up, right? Maybe that is what caused one thing um, that is very traumatizing that happened to him in childhood that made him be hypersexual uh, and, 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 you know, do all these creepy weird things that he does. But anyway, when it comes to the white fingernails, child, what if he done always seen Janice with white fingernails, right? And uh, maybe that's the reason why he likes white fingernails on his women, especially when it's time to F.O., right? So anyway, Chad, it's just my theory. That's just my theory. But it's, it's very interesting. You know, I just really didn't understand this picture right here. Like, why are you looking like it? I'm like, oh, you look like a whole weirdo. Anyway, Chad, moving right along. Also, according to, I'm trying to give y'all this tea, Chad. I'm trying to give y'all this tea. I hope y'all... Mm. Child, I hope y'all appreciate it. Please like and share and subscribe my channel if you ain't, you know, liked and shared or subscribed because it's some good tea, right? So anyway, according to Rolling Stone magazines, 18, up, up to 18 at the time, at the time, the day um, that Cassie filed her lawsuit against Diddy, um, Brother Love, um, 18 company, at least 18 companies at that time. Now there could be more companies now, but at least 18 companies, um, you know, decided to part ways with Diddy. They they longer they no longer wanted to do business with him. So Diddy is losing money on a daily basis as a result of Cassie filing the first lawsuit. Not only is he losing money from the lawsuits. Rumor has it allegedly that he has been disinvited to the Grammys, right? 
And I find it very interesting that his, his, uh, his friend, her CD, I'm going to call him CD, right? He sits on the board of the Grammys. So I'm thinking, oh, after all this time and all this stuff, you know, Diddy has allegedly done throughout, uh, you know, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, decades. After all of that, um, why now is CD being shady towards Diddy? Because if CD does in fact sit on the board, you know, why? And he was still cool with Diddy. Why would he allow the Grammys to disinvite him? Not only they say, not only is his he's uh, has Diddy been disinvited allegedly? Uh, also, his children have been disinvited. And as a matter of fact, Diddy had been set to perform um, at the Grammys with his son. And if that still, and Annie had also been, Annie has also been nominated. So that will be the performance will be scrubbed. The, the nomination still would stand, but he wouldn't be able to accept the nomination because he's been disinvited, child. Okay, and I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, right? So anyway, child, moving right along, moving right along. I got some more tea. So I don't know if y'all remember a couple of videos back or not. And people, I'm sure y'all heard this, but people are speculating that when it comes to Diddy and Kim Porter, we know that he had met um, his first baby mama, Misa, Kim Porter right here, um, and and uh, uh and cassie all in the same year right all in the early 90s right well when it comes to kim porter um people have always speculated allegedly uh, oh and gene dia or either mark curry uh did these ex security guards they said that they believe that allegedly diddy had um bugged uh, not only kim's phone but also her house right well, come to find out, y'all, they done went and found out because, you know, the Internet is king when it comes to investigations, right? Come to find out that allegedly, allegedly, Diddy's latest baby mama, Dana Tran, he just had a baby by her not too long ago. I believe it was a little girl, right? So um, she is a cybersecurity specialist, and she is the one that allegedly bugged Kim House, uh, Kim Porter's house. And allegedly he met her uh, when he went to hire, when he went to the security firm to hire somebody to tap and bug Kim Porter's house and phone. So now she has a baby by him. She is the latest baby mama, y'all. But he met her when he hired her to bug Kim Porter's home. I'm like, oh my God. So really, if she was hired to um, bug the home, what all does she hear? What all does she know? Like, is she participating in the FOs? She got a whole baby by him. She's the lady's baby mama. Honey, the, the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper, right? And so, honey, that's what's going on with the Kim Porter situation, right? I got a little bit more tea. Got a little bit more tea. Hold on. So, moving right along. So, Mr. Suge Knight has been talking, honey. We know that Suge Knight um has you know he has he's serving a um 20 plus year prison sentence uh for um for running over a individual a, a, i think it was a man because of a fight or some words or something we all we all know should not in my opinion should night is bet bet is crazy right so anyway should night he has a he has a podcast that um he you know does from prison right so should Knowing all of this stuff that's going on with Diddy now, you now you know Suge and Diddy have had a back and forth. They had a back and forth since um before Tupac passed away, right? And you know they said it was tied to the East Coast, um West Coast, you know gang wars that were going on back then. And they say that it's why uh, Tupac was assassinated because of that gang war, as well as Biggie. Um, I don't believe it. You know that's that's I, I, in my opinion. Um, it was because of Diddy off both of But anyway, and my this is my opinion. And I'm let me say it, let it right. So Suge Knight decides because Diddy is going through it right now, he would be real petty, right? So what Suge went and done from prison is he done posted this picture on the internet, right? So this picture is a picture of the legs of the the leg, the female right here, I believe is Misa Hilton. Misa Hilton is Diddy's first baby mama, right? And this little boy right here, this is Diddy's son, Justin. So rumor has it allegedly that um, 
P. Diddy didn't want to pay child support for Justin. So because he didn't want to pay child support for Justin, Misa moved out to California to try to find work. Well, rumor has it that allegedly her and Suge Knight hooked up, right? And so uh, he was taking care of Misa and Justin for a while when she was in California because I think that he knew that that was going to piss Diddy off. I really don't know if he cared about um, Misa at all, but Misa was like, I got to do what I got to do, right? So, honey, he was taking care of Justin for a while because Diddy didn't want to pay child support because, oh, and Gene Deal says the reason why Diddy didn't want to pay child support is because he didn't believe that Justin Combs, um, this is a picture of Misa and Justin, right? Now, on a side note, Diddy started allegedly, rumor has it that allegedly Diddy started dating um, Misa Hilton, when she was in high school, I believe they said she was like 15 or 16 years old when he met and started dating Misa Hilton, allegedly, right? And so Justin here, he's now an adult, of course we know, um, but Diddy didn't want to, um, you know, claim him as his son. And Gene Deal, one of Diddy's ex-bodyguards, said that the reason why he didn't claim Justin, number one, is he didn't look like him. And I'm thinking he could have took out his mama's side of the family because he looked just like his mama. Like, what you mean, right? So anyway, but they say the real reason why is allegedly that rumors were going around that Justin is actually the child of one of the bodyguards assigned to her by Diddy. Now, this is what Gene Deal said. And so y'all know this is all allegedly, but allegedly that's the reason why Diddy wasn't wanting to take care of Justin because people were going around saying that it was the bodyguards, baby child, right? And so, but like I said, Suge Knight, he wanted to be real petty. So when he found out she was in LA, she was looking for work, she got to take care of her baby. He was like, you know, he, you know, he hooked up with her, you know, and he was, you know, taking, he was daddy. He was stepdaddy for a while. Okay. And so, child, it's just so much, so much going on. But, child, let me get out of here. That's all I got right now. But this story keeps getting deeper and deeper. We all know this. It's starting to sound like an episode of the R. Kelly Chronicles, okay, in the closet. Y'all remember that? Oh, child. That's what it's starting to sound like. It didn't after a while, did it just gonna be looking like R. Kelly interviewing with Gail King? I'm fighting for my life, allegedly. Okay, and also the last little piece of tea that I got before I get out of here, right? Is um some people have said that they have uh they have gotten word that allegedly there is going to be a male filing a SA lawsuit against diddy in california along with the four lawsuits that are going on right now as well as the ones that we probably don't know about yet because i think that wig door is playing chess not checkers with diddy and he's trying to break him down a little bit at a time but anyway they saying that diddy allegedly s age uh, a young man that was attending Howard University um, back in the day. And at that time, the young man, I think they said he was 19 years old, um, I believe. And they're saying allegedly that um, he plans to or he has already filed a lawsuit um, against Diddy when it comes to the, the Adult Survivors Act, which is still very active in California until 2026. So allegedly, um, that's supposed to have happened. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. You know what I mean? And also, before I leave y'all, when it comes to the lawsuit with the 17-year-old that was fair, right? The girl that said she was 17 and she was s trafficked as well as, um, you know, all worded, you know, by not only Diddy, but his then CEO, Hoff Pierre, and also a third assailant, right? They supposed to have gang order, right? My thing is, why won't they name the third assailant? Who is the third assailant? That's what I want to know. Who the third assailant is, and why won't they? Um, why won't they? You know, like tell his name. Like I, I'm confused. Like why is his name not on the paperwork? Why is his name on the paperwork? The third assailant. Like is he some high powered guy or something like that? People have been speculating that he is a myriad of people, right? So, but um. Eventually, if Diddy chooses to take this to trial, um, the 17-year-old, the 17-year-old, the, the then 
17 year old girl her complaint because she's 30 something now right but if he chooses to take this to trial because um he has not as far as i know unless he said it before i came online he has yet to settle with the then 17 year old girl and you know she has pictures um of the the, the daddy house studio um uh, where she was you know uh flown to you know uh, when the when the situation occurred and whatnot um she has those photos and i'm sure she has to have other evidence or else i don't think that wig door would have taken her case if she didn't have rock solid proof you know what i mean and that says a lot in my opinion so we are going to have to wait and wait and see honey because uh uh i mean if that male comes out it's not on it's gonna go from me too to me too and he too at the same dang on time, right? And I'm thinking, he ain't R. Kelly 2.0, honey. He acting like he R. Kelly 3.0. All in the studio doing all this stuff. Y'all remember R. Kelly surviving R. Kelly, honey, when uh, all that stuff was going on at the studio in Chicago, all this and all that, whatnot. You know, y'all remember, you know, the situation with Aaliyah. Ooh, child, it's just too much. But anyway, I got to go. That's all the tea I got right now. Y'all make sure y'all like um share and subscribe um to my channel like the video share the video if you don't mind and after you and if you choose to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified honey when i decide to make a little video dropping some more tea and so anyway y'all have a nice day thanks for joining me bye bye peace